Curtis Perry is watching Silas. Adams, of course, is on uh, jump hook. There's another good soft touch shot by Dave Cowens, trying to use his strength and muscle against Adams down low. Time to go in the first quarter. Look, the Suns might have been just a little bit tight the last five minutes. They missed some marvelous scoring opportunities. Westfall. Here come the Celtics. Exactly. Paul Westfall is the one man who has not gotten the range yet. And if he does, the Celtics should really have their hands full. Collins. It's a one-point lead by the Suns. Collins putting the ball up from outside, as he will do. Rick, we've come down to the last 50 seconds of the first quarter. Inside to Stakem. Paul Westville got lost that time, turned his head to the ball, and his men went to the basket. Cowens made a great pass seeing him go. Suns lead it by a point, and we're down to the last 30 seconds of the first quarter. Curtis Perry up against JoJo White, who switched over, and it was John Havlicek who controlled that. Cowens picked it up, long oh, pass to Stakem, slicing toward the basket. He's got it, and it is Kevin Stakem who has hit two quick field goals and a chance to add a free throw. Here's the play again. Dave Cowens with a fantastic lead pass over Sobers, right to Stakem, who takes it in, makes a good move, and Sobers fouls him on the hand. And this is what Dave Cowens does so well and what the Celtics is known for, that fast break opportunity on the long pass. And has come to prove something against Phoenix. Sobers working against him right now. Sobers comes up over it. And Cowens gets back the rebound. With a two-point lead, the clock runs out before JoJo White can get it down and take a shot at it. 22-20 at the end of the first quarter. Should have gotten some help there. Scott David back to John Havlicek. 22-20, just underway in the second quarter for the Boston Guard. Game two Thursday night on CBS. Scott comes up, and it's a four-point Celtic lead. Now we see the Celtics going to the inside against something that didn't do that well in the first half. 8-12. Collins. 28-22. Keith Erickson. Now he's hustling down to the other end. Passing to Scott. David on the trail. Drives right past Audrey, gives it off to Scott. That's a basket for the Celtics, but Paul Silas never left the free second area from the time Dave Cowens had the ball that time. He was having a little camping experience in there. Heard is back. Heard, Perry, Adams, Westfall, and Sobers. John McLeod's five starters are on the floor. Cowens comes up over Curtis Perry with a field goal that puts the Celtics ahead by 6, 36, 30, 432 to go in the first half. This is the bonus situation, so Dave will go to the free throw line. All right, gentlemen, plus the penalty for two. Jake, see if you can get him to play. Cowens did not shoot well against the Cleveland Cavaliers, Rick, and of course a lot of credit has to go to Nate Thurman, who played magnificently as the Cavaliers bowed out in six games. And Cowan says he just didn't have his rhythm going either. Well, Nate has always been a great defensive player, and of course a taller man on a man who is a good outside shooter, if he's up on him, does create some problems. 42-37, 126 to go in the first half. Here's White Garfield, her jumps out on him. Silvers with Scott Cowens, left alone outside, sinks it. Now it is 50-42. And John McLeod immediately wants a timeout. You can see that Tommy hides it was extremely pleased with the coaching problem with Tommy Heinsohn. Well, here come the Suns, and it is Alvin Adams. Puts the ball on the floor and brings it right across. Takes the pass back, waits for the guards to cut. Westfall gets inside, forces up the left-handed one. Ball knocked out of bounds by the Celtics. That's great hustle by Dave Cowens. He was guarding the man driving Paul Westfall, recovered and came back to almost get the rebound. He was their most consistent offensive performer against Cleveland by far. 59-56. Inside to Cowens. Alvin Adams got caught watching the basketball, lost his man. Cowens went to the hoop. Easy two points. 62. Silas gets it to Collins. And it rotates inside. That's the first thing that Dave Collins has done where we can even mention his name, both offensively and defensively, since he picked up his fourth foul. He's been a little passive since he's gotten that fourth foul. 
Suns, only one for the Celtics. Garfield heard up firing at the buzzer again, Rick, about the fourth time in this game, and JoJo White applies offensive pressure. Havlicek is in the backcourt because Charlie Scott has fouled out. So John Havlicek hoped to receive more rest on that injured left foot than he received during game one. This could be a factor as the series continues. Downs gives it over to JoJo. Good movement again by the Celtics, getting a good opportunity shot by their best shooter. One chance after another. Bird off the front of the eye, so they can't hit either of their opportunities. JoJo White breaks open ahead of Anars there. Off the ball. 254, JoJo back to Silas who crashes in. Collins with control. Game one of the championship series, and the Celtics are about to take a lead. Now we'll have Mendy with JoJo White. So that'll be coming up right after the game. 98-87. Time has run out. And the Boston Celtics have won game one of the championship series.